to CSR Vocal, this edition of CSR Vocal, which Graham uh, has been facilitating. I thought I would like to ask you about like some of the you know successful initiatives which uh, Sumani Impresa has taken up, and uh, what has been uh, your success mantra? If you if I have to ask you like. how uh, i mean your projects have been able to you know make an impact on the lives of this uh, you know uh, in the areas where you are working on if you are talking about success mantra i i believe that uh, we are still learning we are still growing we are not a uh, uh, what i say big contributor as many others are they are in the market i mean we are also learning from them the idea is that whatever we do we should uh, think from heart that after 3 years after 5 years if we look back at least we can say that if we would not have invested in this way uh, this particular change or this particular uh, benefit would not have come I would like to share with you an example uh, under one of the group companies where we under the AGI green bank limited so the project is uh, you know to enhance the farmers income to fruit tree plantation so this project is you know right now active and uh, being implemented by one of our partner and this through this project what we are trying to do we are trying to equally equip the farmers those who are into existing business of paddy and motivate them that whatever unutilized land you have beyond paddy you can mm-hmm. utilize those for this horticulture project whatever fruit tree plantation that we are doing Horticulture okay. project. We are doing nothing new in that. We are just trying to rope in uh, scientists from Indian Council of Agriculture Research. We are roping in local agriculture experts from the agriculture department, and local NGO is helping us to mobilize the farmers. And from our prospects, from from the philanthropic perspectives, from the CSR perspectives, we are giving them trainings and handholding support and anything required to do that. When I say anything required, means anything. Whether it could be saplings, it could be vermi compost, it could be bio fertilizers, it could be mulching sheds, it could be seeds, it could be market linkers. So you see, when we do this, obviously there will be a question coming from the farmers that if you are doing this, why don't you give this? Why don't you give that? That the question will come. But there should be proper communication that if you are doing something, if you are trying to you know give you something, we are not trying to give you that you earn your own income and you just settle down. We are just trying to enhance your income. We will support you for first two years. Then we will pull back. We'll go to another person. What you are supposed to do? We are supporting the farmer with two kind of crops. One is long term crop. One is short term crop. Under long term crop, you could say mango. Guava, papaya, and all these saplings are given. That would take around say uh, around three and a half years, four years to you know. The short term crop I'm talking about is buttermilk. We prepare the seed, we prepare the land, and uh, simultaneously we provide the top quality seeds, uh, some kind of support in irrigation system, and uh, obviously that uh, fertilizers and everything that we get. And also this market linkage has been done. by the local ngo what we are trying to do was you have to whatever earning that you are earning right now from this watermelon you keep around 30 to 40% for your consumption another 50 to 60% you reinvest into that the same or some other long term crop you reinvest into that so what will happen the earnings earned from the first year will be reinvested into the same business fruit tree plantation business and again from the next year 50 to 60 percent will be reinvested, and we will be giving the market linkage and the training and handholding support all the three years. So we are supporting for the first year, and the support will reduce at the second year. On the third year, we will be only supporting in market linkage, nothing else. And if that works out, he will be sustainable for future. His brother or maybe somebody else who can take care of the paddy business, or he can take care of this food business first. second thing is he can be a motivator he can be an exemplary he can be a trend setter for others in that particular vicinity in that particular surroundings where he is doing third thing is that when his income is you know significantly growing he would be able to provide a better lifestyle you know uh, better uh, facilities to his children or to the family members 
that will happen ultimately we, what we are trying to do we are trying to add you know the un sdg first second thing is that we are trying to create a happy community who happy stakeholders who are the happy stakeholders and we are trying to create sustainability in such a way that we are not here to support you for the whole year we are here to make you equally you know uh, equipped empowered so that in near future you will take our role you will be responsible to support other farmers so if that is the cause then you join us otherwise you don't join us obviously the role of local mlas village sarpanch leaders village heads community heads they are also you know uh, taken care of that and they are included and they know in all this system this particular fellow has to do this this particular fellow has to do that and we do track the progress of those seedlings those saplings and how much that you know fellow is you know earning that is there and you would be surprised to know the kind of joy the kind of you know enthusiasm comes when money comes into the pocket <laughs> because obviously he has into paddy business he never know that okay i'm earning maybe 3 lakh rupees or maybe 4 lakh rupees from paddy business so what how much i would think i would earn in from this short term or long term job but the moment he saw that in 3 months and 4 months of this watermelon business he could earn uh, maybe 1 1.5 lakhs or maybe 2 lakhs so he was surprised i mean within 3 months of investment if you guys i could earn 2 lakhs rupees why am i investing my time and energy into this paddy business i said boss you continue to do whatever to me But this is just a supplemental just to set up an example create an ecosystem where you will empower other farmers you will empower other guys who would you know others life could also be changed having seen you they will follow your you know trend so in this journey we may be successful maybe 50% 60% we are not assuming everything will go as for our plan but even if we are successful 50% or even 40% of our target beneficiary or the target farmer so we, we believe we will consider that the project is a hit okay so that's that is something uh, i just wanted to boast upon that is something i just wanted to highlight uh, the kind of uh, initiative that we are doing wonderful to know that i mean when you talk about farmers and i also remember one of our initiative called we will women empowerment millet products uh, and also you spoke about i see yeah it is very important that we connect with them with the you know uh, right people and then our products or our, our initiatives are being certified and supported by the institutes like icar similarly we have also you know uh, uh, ensured that we connected them with cftri central uh, food research technological institutes of uh, which is situated in mysuru which is actually supporting them in billet based food processing un- uh, unit and uh, they are able to create a value based value addition projects in the uh, pro- products in the you know uh, areas a- a by using billets uh, finger millet and various other millets as well so such initiatives certainly need some technical support and very happy to see that the kind of you know initiatives you have uh, taken in terms of connecting with leading uh, indian uh, uh, institutes like icar and all uh such kind of uh, you know value addition from uh, cs uh, csr uh, organizations is definitely required uh, at this juncture for sure 